Hi, I'm Skeeter, the Shelf Elf here at the Hope Library. I'm back to help you learn a few more things about the library before you begin to check out books. Check out was one of our vocabulary words last time. Do you remember what it means? Raise your hand and let Miss Chenard call on you if you think you know the answer. With Tron's help, we learned a lot of words. I will be using some of these words today because I'm going to be talking about the rules of the library and the things Miss Chenard will expect you to do every time you go to the library. Most of the things Miss Chenard expects you to do are the same things you need to do in your regular classroom. Tron is going to help us again by reviewing how you should behave when you come to the library. Hi, Tron. Are you ready? Hi, Skeeter. I am ready. Do you remember when we read No David and David Goes to School? What was David's problem in both books? Raise your hand and let Miss Chenard call on you if you think you know the answer. I know, Skeeter. I know. David did not follow directions. That's right, Tron. Every time you come to the library, you must follow Miss Chenard's directions. Let's visit the library so that you can learn what Miss Chenard expects of you. Uh-oh! Tron looks really upset. Why do you suppose he is so angry? What did this class do when they came into the library? What should they have done? Let's see if they can get it right the next time. Tron is much happier because these students walked into the library instead of running. And look, they are in their line places and they have stopped behind the red tape marker on the floor. And what Miss C loves best of all, they are quiet. They are waiting for Miss C's directions and because they are doing all of these things, they are being respectful. You should already have your book in your hands when you come into the library. After checking in your book, put it in the book drop. If your book is damaged, if pages are torn or missing, or there is writing in the book, or the book is broken, fill out a sick book slip and give the book and the slip to Miss Chenard. Don't put it in the book drop. After you have checked in your book, Line up quietly and wait for Miss Chenard to give you your assigned seat in the library classroom. Remember, walk and remain quiet so that you can hear Miss Chenard. Once you are seated, put your library card around your neck. Sit quietly and please don't touch your library card. If you break it, you will have to pay a fine to get a new one. And please, never, ever, ever... Push back on your chair. You can get really hurt doing that. Miss Chenard will know you are ready to learn. When your ears are listening, your eyes are watching, your lips are closed, your hands are still, and your feet are quiet. Always raise your hand to answer or ask a question. Wait your turn until Miss Chenard calls on you. And be respectful by listening to what others have to say. Learning is easier and more fun when we don't act like this, David. But instead, follow the rules and are respectful of each other. Every week, when your class comes to the library, and after checking in your books, you will spend about 25 to 30 minutes in the library classroom with Miss Chenard. When you are in the library classroom, Miss Chenard will teach you the things you need to know and practice in order to be successful in school, 
and other things that will help you enjoy reading just for fun. After she is finished with the lesson, you will spend about 15 minutes using the netbook computer to learn and practice the skill she has taught you. When Miss Chenard is finished with her lesson, she will ask you to stand up, push in your chairs, and walk to the bookshelves. Be sure to get a shelf marker before you start to look for a book. Miss Chenard wants you to enjoy this part of your library visit. But remember your job is to find a book. You still need to follow all of the library rules. And remember, shelf markers are not toys! When you see Miss Chenard using the Give Me Five signal, stop what you are doing and listen to her instructions. Browse the bookshelves until you find a book you want to check out. You will have only about 10 minutes to find a book, so use your time wisely. When you find a book you want to check out, make sure you can read it. Remember, reading means that you understand almost all of the words, not just able to say them. When you have found a just right book, return your shelf marker to its container and go to the circulation desk to check out the book. Miss Chenard will use your library card to check out the book. As soon as the book has been checked out to you, you may sit on a chair or on the storybook carpet and read quietly to yourself. When your teacher arrives, line up behind the red tape marker on the floor and quietly leave the library. You have a week to read the book you borrowed. During that time, you are responsible for taking good care of it. The next time you come to visit, I will teach you a lot about picking out just right books and taking care of the books you borrow from our library and what happens if you lose or damage a book you borrowed. But until then, remember, read for learning and read for fun. Bye for now.